Hey everybody, today on this Shopify tutorial, I am going to teach you how to add staff accounts for your Shopify website. So let's say that you run uh, a business where you have staff accounts and you want to add them so that they can go in and add product or make changes to the site or what have you. I'm going to show you how to do that with Shopify. It's actually quite simple. So what we're going to do, we've all, we've logged in, we're at our sort of main screen here. We're going to go down to settings and we're going to go to account. And you can see the account overview. This is basically your information. The account owner, that's me. In, the, in your case, it'll be you. And here we have staff accounts. So let's say we want to add a staff account. We're going to click there. We're going to add a first name in here. And we're going to add an email address. Obviously, make sure that um, you type in the correct email address for the person or they won't get their invitation. So I'm going to take a type in a fake address here okay and we have a checkbox here that says this staff account will have full permissions that means that they can do everything in the store uh, on the site that you can do so you might want to think about that, what kind of ability you want your staff to have. So if we uncheck that box, now we will see what kind of permissions that we can give them. So in the online store, do we want them to be able to change and work with the themes? Do we want them to be able to create blog posts and pages? Uh, navigation, so that's the menu, domains. Can they work with domain names? So let's say we just want them to be able to create and edit blog posts and pages. So we'll give them that permission. Now, let's see what we want them to do in general. Do we want them to be able to access orders? Probably, if you want them to process orders as orders come in, you can allow them to work with orders. Um, you can allow them to view customer data. You can allow them to... Um, work with gift cards, create discount codes. Let's say you don't want them to be able to change settings or view reports, sales reports. Maybe you do. Maybe you be, want them to be able to view and print reports uh, to go over with you. So you can basically set what kind of permission uh, the staff account has. What you would do then, once you're happy with the information, the person's name, email address, and what kind of permissions they have on the site, then what you would do is you would click send invite. That user, that staff member would then get an email saying they've been invited to be, uh, to join the, the site as a staff account. They would click a link in their email and then they would be able to sign in. They'd have to create a username and a password and then they would be able to sign in to accomplish all the tasks that you assigned to them. I'm not going to do that because obviously this is a fake email, but that's how the system works. So that's how you can add a staff member to your Shopify store. Now, if you would like me to build your Shopify website for you for free, check out the link down below. There's a form for you to fill out on Google Forms with some simple information about how I can contact you and a little bit about your business. And as a Shopify partner, I will build your Shopify website for free. So check that out. Hope to be able to work with you. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I also hope you have a great day.